know how you feel, but I feel like streaming to multiple platforms should be easy and free. Luckily, it actually is. And if you follow me along in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it completely for free. All I'm gonna ask is just for some of your time and attention, please. So the way that I've been able to multi-stream for absolute free has been through something called Meld Studio. Now, even though Meld Studio is in beta right now, I actually have a direct access link to download it in the description below. All right, so once you have your broadcast software set up, like mine, it has the gaming scene, just chatting scene, and also the desktop scene as well. Once you have it set up like this, go ahead up to the top left-hand corner, go to File, and then go to Preferences. This is gonna be where you see your stream settings and also your outputs where you can add every single website you wanna to stream to. For instance, if I click on this, I can go to Twitch and I can either log into this or I can put the stream server and stream key in for this manually. If you don't know where to find that, I'm gonna show you how to do it later on in this video. Now, if you wanna add something else like Kick, YouTube, or Twitter, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hit Add Output. And then you wanna to go to Custom Destination. And then this is gonna be where you type in whatever website it's gonna be that you're streaming to. We'll say Twitter. Yes, it's Twitter, it's not X, it will never be X. It's always gonna be Twitter. If you know, you know. And then under here, you're gonna put the stream server and the stream key. Again, I'll show you how to do that later on. So you're gonna do this for every single platform you wanna do. So if you wanna do like Kick and also YouTube, we'll add those as well. Now, once we add all our platforms, it should look something like this. And then I do wanna to touch base on something before we move forward is that with the encoder settings, this is gonna be the exact same for every single platform. So basically what that means is that it'll be streaming to 1080p, 60 frames a second, 6,000 kilobit bitrate, every single platform. So for instance, if your internet speed is not at least 24 megabits per second, you probably won't be able to handle this. You might need to drop this down. Now in the future, we are gonna make it to where you can actually adjust every single detail for each platform going forward. But for now, just play around with it and figure out what works best for you, for your setup and your internet speeds. Now, once we're done in here, we can go ahead and click backwards to this. And now we're gonna notice on the top right hand corner, we have a bunch of different outputs. So we have Twitch, Twitter, Kick, and also YouTube. What's cool about this, you can actually toggle this on or off. So for instance, the other night, I totally wasn't listening to DMC music or anything like that, because <laughs> I would never do that. Um, and I toggled off YouTube because I didn't wanna be hit with a DMCA copyright strike or anything like that on my YouTube channel. So it's kind of cool because you can actually change these whenever you feel like it. Let me go and show you how to manually add Twitch. So click on the top right hand corner and then go to your creator dashboard. And then on the left hand side, you want to go to settings and then from the drop down, go to stream. And then this is going to be where it shows your stream key. Do not show this to anyone unless you want some random person like me streaming on your website when your community is going to be really weird why you went from being who you are to now me or some other creepy person on the Internet. So make sure you don't show this to anyone, but just copy this from right here on the right-hand side and then go back to meld, click on the file preference, add output, Twitch, and then you can just add it right here. Now, the server setting is pre-populated. If you don't know where to get this information, there is a link that luckily meld politely put there. So you can go ahead and click on this and it shows you every single one of these. I will also leave it linked in the description down below. Next up, let's go ahead and add kick as the last two are a little bit more confusing than this one. So with kick, go ahead to your top right-hand corner, your profile picture, go to your creator dashboard, and then you wanna go to settings, stream key, and everything is listed right here. So this stream URL is your stream server. So copy this and then you wanna paste this over. So we go back to meld, go back, we'll edit the kick one, server, bam. And then we can go to the browser and we'll copy the stream key, go to meld, bam. And there we go. And now kick is added. We can stream live on kick. All right, so to get Twitter, it's a little bit more convoluted. So what you wanna do is head over to studio.twitter.com slash producer and it will bring you to this page right here. In the top right hand corner, we're gonna go ahead and press create broadcast. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and select a source and we'll create a new source from here. So that way we can add our new meld, we'll call it meld three, it's my third time doing this. <laughs> totally not getting tired of reading this script over and over right now. And then you wanna go to region and click whatever's closest to you. I am actually on the East Coast of the United States, the best side of the United States, and we'll hit create. Once you create this brand new source, your stream server is gonna be listed right here as the RTMP URL. And then you're gonna have your RTMP stream key right below this again don't show that to anyone you want to copy those over go over to your meld studio hit add output or just edit your twitter one and then you can add your stream server here and your stream key there and then they're all good to go all right last but not least we're going to go to youtube so go to your youtube channel and then top right hand corner go to your profile picture click on it and click youtube studio once your youtube studio loads up on the top right hand corner again hit that create button and then hit go live. And then once your dashboard loads up, you'll have right down here underneath stream settings, you'll have your stream key and also your stream URL, which is your stream server. Copy both of these on over. So we'll go back, file preferences, 
go to YouTube and bam. There we go, we can add that and then just add your stream key. And there you have it. It is literally that simple to multi-stream. Hope you guys enjoy and let me know how it works out for you. We'll see you in the next one.